Renaissance hungry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am legit that. like looking around. <laughs> uh, what, I'm, what's I'm here? What can we get? I'm sure they've got new flavors and, and, and gosh, we don't think? have them here. Remember, Bets, we had them in uh, maybe a year or two ago and we got to try the product. Yeah. And we, we speak from experience, they were delicious. Made us believers. I don't, I was telling him, I don't think that one cake pop would be enough for me. Mm, they're pretty rich. They That's are. what I asked him, but they he said are. he'd take a sheet cake. I need a sheet cake of them. <laughs> Phenomenal, a cake pop and a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That okay. Nice. That offset. Yeah. Well, your weather word is going down that road. And then you're going to hate this, Bets, because <laughs> when you do the weather, I, you know, you are very serious and very professional, and that's the way you have to be. This stuff is v important stuff. But I want you to use the word yummy in your weather forecast. Think She's about thinking. that for a second. It's already, it's already She's trying to figure out, how am She's, I going to do that? The wheel's going. She'll do it. <laughs> You'll do it. She is so mad at me right now. <laughs> I can She's I can tell with a glance, and Betsy is hot at me right I'm now. I'm not hot. I'm just like <laughs> you know what? There She's are being lasers creative. coming out of those eyes. What is going on in that man's <laughs> brain? I ask myself. <laughs> <laughs> we all do, Bets. No man. one wants to know. Some days you just wonder. All right, weekend rain trends. Starting off with this, we still have a high confidence that there will be rain this weekend, but. Less likely on Saturday, more likely on Sunday. I don't know if that affects any of your plans, but as of right now, that's kind of the latest on the weekend. We're going to just get that out of the way right away because tonight we have gorgeous weather. Mostly clear skies continuing for the next couple of hours. We will get some high clouds in here and then those clouds thicken up overnight. Temperatures are going to fade back into the low 60s by the midnight hour. We have a couple little issues that have been showing up on the roadways recently. Uh, one of them is on uh, US 20 out in uh, Lake County. We have another one that's out in the Youngstown area. This is I-90 at 55th. Look at those blue skies. Folks just smooth sailing right there, right there on 90. However, we have been watching some issues at 480 and 77. There were two lanes closed on 77 southbound just south of 480. That has been cleared. So the good news is we have improving conditions there at 480. And then just about the time they really started to clear that up, there was a little fender bender right at the uh, in the right two lanes of 480 westbound where you kick off onto 77. That seems to not be such a factor as of right now. So some better news to report to you there. And the best news of all is the temperatures are sitting well into the 70s with that south breeze. Jay's eyes just popped open. Yes. <laughs> Jay, 80s in western Ohio and back toward the Chicago area. Certainly some stunning weather right now. Clouds are off to the south of us. Those clouds fill in here as we head through the night, and that's all part of this big push of Gulf moisture that's moving from south to north. Notice how the clouds are flowing in a clockwise fashion. That's high pressure that's sitting on the east coast. The problem is there's a big area of high pressure in northwestern Canada. It's also going to be a factor in the forecast. But first, it's the high pressure east that can continues to push the heat and the moisture northward. So we will dance around with some rain chances and clouds, not only tomorrow, tomorrow night, then into Thursday, Thursday night into Friday, we'll have some scattered showers around. Note this uh, very sharp line here of the rain that comes in on Saturday. That's our first front. We have chances on Saturday for rain, yes, but less chances than what happens on Sunday when a whole big swath of rain moves in. So Sunday looks a little bit more like a washout, and I'm sure you saw the blue pop on the map because watch what happens when that area of low pressure goes by. That big old area of high pressure and cold air in northwestern Canada goes a moving. And there it is, friends, our first look at a lake effect rain mix in the forecast. Here's your national designer hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. Focus on the positive 70 degrees. Temperatures are going to be uh, in the upper 60s to near 70 with those clouds hanging on with us. We will see a few peaks of sun. Here's a look at your union home mortgage forecast. We are going to hold on to the yummy 70s as we head through the next several days. Yeah, uh, and with a lot of cloud cover around, we'll have some scattered showers on Friday as the first front comes in. That second front, the doozy, is going to be here Saturday. And then Sunday, that big wave of energy comes in, the stirring mechanism that will open the gates to the colder air. And yes, our first snowflake on the forecast oh. so far. No! It's not yummy. Lake Ray Mix. Now, this is not going to be anything, as of right now, it does not look like it's going to be anything massive or major for us. This is all part and parcel with late October. That, after all, is October 31st. 
it's right on time, yeah. but man, that puts a bit of a damper on trick-or-treating. Sure. All right. Aww. Well done on the weather word, Pat. <laughs> yeah, very you, nice. You nailed it. Thanks. Good thing it wasn't, it's not Tuesday, because I don't can know how you'd work that in otherwise. Can I put a request in for like, I don't know, geopotential heights or oh. vorticity maxima oh. or... Okay. You know, can, can we... You know what, I'll have to ask around and find out a good <laughs> meteorological term. Nailed that. I pray Matt uh, Wentz is not watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, help me out on this. Yeah. Bets, thanks. I enjoyed that.